Prediction. Roughly two years after life has gone back to normal, we will see a COVID resurgence somewhere in the world, and the whole pandemic is going to start all over again. The vaccine attacks the spike, but the spike will inevitably mutate. People have criticized my, my first video for, for not talking about the differences between RNA and DNA. This is actually when the differences uh, are important. DNA is double-stranded, so when it makes a copy of itself, it can do like a checksum, essentially, and make sure it didn't make any mistakes. RNA is single-stranded, so when it makes a copy of itself, it's more likely to make random errors. And then over time, these little mistakes all add up, and like, it mutates the virus in, you know, meaningful ways. It's basically a monkeys at typewriters type situation, but instead of randomly writing Shakespeare, it randomly mutates spike number one into spike number two. Vaccine number one will not work against spike number two. And guess what? Spike number two already exists. No one knows where it is, no one has found it yet, but I can guarantee you there's at least one COVID particle out in the big wide world with Spike number two. When we distribute vaccine number one all over the world and kill off spike number one, that lonely particle with spike number two will be the only particle left in the whole world. And then, since the vaccine does not protect against spike number two, it's going to start spreading and it's going to start the whole thing all over again. This should sound familiar, because this is essentially what happens with the flu every single year. One strain of the flu emerges, and then summer kills it off for some reason. Nobody actually knows why that happens. But then it mutates, and a new strain of the flu appears the next year. Side prediction, I don't think that COVID is going to have a yearly strain the way that the flu does, because COVID is not built like the flu. The flu's DNA is built in a way uh, that allows it to rapidly mutate its spike. The COVID spike will mutate. It's an RNA virus, it's going to mutate, but it will not mutate nearly as fast as the flu does. So, I doubt that there's, like, going to be a new strain of COVID every single year. It's not the flu. The flu is, is special. So, spike number two, very scary. Vaccine will not work against spike number two. But there is good news when it comes to fighting spike number two. These mRNA vaccines can be easily updated to combat any new spikes that appear. So as soon as spike number two reveals itself and, you know, spreads enough to actually get our attention, all the scientists have to do is sequence that new spike, the same way they, they sequence spike number one, and then delete the sequence from spike number one out of the vaccine and then copy and paste the new sequence of spike number two into the vaccines that we already have. These mRNA vaccines are super easy to update. So to summarize my prediction... Vaccine number one will eradicate spike number one. The pandemic will look like it's done. Spike number two, which is currently hiding out somewhere in the world, will survive the first vaccine. Spike number two, you know, its humble roots with a single particle, will start to spread. We will see a new hotspot appear, just like we saw in Wuhan with spike number one. Scientists sequence spike number two, Drug companies update the mRNA vaccines with the new DNA sequence from spike number two, and then we all get new shots with vaccine number two, which will work against spike number two, and then the second pandemic will essentially be averted. As I said in my last prediction, I think that the public health people are going to end up recommending a yearly booster shot for the COVID vaccine. It will not be a different vaccine the way it is with the flu every year. For the first maybe two or three years, it's actually going to be the same vaccine. After that, this yearly COVID vaccine, they're going to have to come out with a new one because COVID is going to mutate, but it'll be easy to update those vaccines uh, to vaccine number two and, like, most of us won't even notice that it's happening. And for those of you watching in the future, you guys know I'm right about everything all the time.